All right. Bold Live is back. We're live. Did you miss me? I missed all of you. I just love that theme song. It's so it's so energizing. It just gets me going. Are you guys excited for the three day weekend? Yes, it's a three day weekend. Hopefully some of you are um, getting that time off to relax and you know, the summer's coming to an end, but things are just heating up on the bold and the beautiful. Oh, don't you? I just love making those kind of transitional puns. I just made that up. Like, I, I, I don't really have a script here except to say, welcome to Bold Live. We've got Delon Demetz here. He plays Zende Forrester Dominguez, and he's going to be here to talk to all of you. And uh, let's have some fun in three, two, one. Boom. Here I am. How is everybody? Where is everybody? I missed you guys. Yes. Hi, Bruno, Susan, Darnell. Yes. Hi. Hi. Yes. I'm so I'm so excited to um, to see you. I, I really did miss you, but we just took a little break last week. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on in the world. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, everybody who's recovering from Hurricane Ida in Louisiana and in the south and in the uh, back east. Um, I hope you guys are, uh, you know, doing okay and staying safe. And, uh, I hope that, uh, you know, what we do here at the bold and the beautiful weekly gives you an opportunity for a little escapism and a little chance to, uh, de-stress and have fun with, uh, these crazy Forsters and Logans and Spencers, you know, it's, uh, it's a crazy world. I'm just seeing some, all these comments while all of you are logging on. Yes. It's, uh, it's, uh, um, I'm 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 really uh, excited for this week's show because um, the man that plays Zende, Delon, he's been he's oh this is going to be his uh, like one year anniversary I think I think it may have just come up or you know we're we're right on the cusp of it but you know he unfortunately has not been able to uh, really you know we haven't had the fan events he hasn't really got to to get out there and meet you guys uh like uh we normally do every two years so this is really kind of his first fan event so i'm excited for him to uh get the chance to talk to all of you and later on in the show i'm going to open up the phone lines and it's first come first serve you call in we just we take the call and you know when when you do call in be prepared I, when I say welcome you to the show, please tell me your name and where you're calling from, and then get right into it with the question uh, and or comment or concern or you know if you just want to tell me how your day's going, I want to hear about that too. I want to hear how your day's going. Um, are you going to the movies? I, I I went to the movies last week. I saw a uh, Free Guy, very good movie, very good movie. So um, I give that two thumbs up. Anyway, um, oh, and we're gonna I have a game for uh, Delon to play, and you at home can play as well. So be sure to, uh, you know, look forward to that. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please put your uh, virtual hands together for Delon. Boom. Hey, Delon. What's up, guys? What's up, Casey? How are you? So Delon, you just came right, you're right from the studio. You worked all day today. And yeah, uh, I literally just drove back, changed my shirt, put this on. I hope everyone's enjoying my vacation vibe because it's a long weekend. We got a vacation. What's up, guys? So as you can see, you can see the uh, everyone's there saying hello and uh, welcome. It we seems have... like a lot of you know each other. This is awesome. This is the bold and beautiful bold life family. You know, we are oh, a tight, nice. tight knit group. And um, yeah. Kyle saw Free Guy three times. I, I mean, I thought it was fantastic. I went last weekend as well. Did you see it? I saw it in these seats. Oh, yeah. They're called D-Box seats, and they, they like vibrate with the movie. So imagine oh, imagine that with Free Guy. It was like, I felt like I was in the, in the movie. It was so cool. I did that once. I think it was, I don't know. COVID time has warped everything for me, but I think it was <laughs> two years ago. It was right before COVID. The second Jumanji was out, and I went with uh -huh. my parents and my younger brother on Christmas Day, I think it was. Nice. And it was in these D-box seats. Yeah. And after like 10 minutes, my mom was like, I'm not dealing with this. We're leaving. And we just, we all left the theater. It was well, too much rumbling what, around. I, and my friend really, she really wanted to see it. But then we, um, I could see you have a, um, 
uh, level. So you can do like intense or you can just do like mild. So oh. I, I did Fast and Furious that way. And I was like, I'm going to mild. This is a little too much, too intense for me. But <laughs> imagine, imagine if you could do D-Box seats and watch The Bold and the Beautiful. That would be cool. That would it be, would be interesting. That would be exciting. So Delon, Eventually they'll have the setups at home. Uh, you know, say hi to the Bold and Beautiful family. This is like, uh, you know, you're, you know, I'm sure you've seen social media. You reach out to people. But uh, it's, uh, you know, these fans are all around the world. And I see yeah. uh, Lakita's from Dallas, and uh, I know I know Angie's in New York. So we've got uh, or New Jersey. So we've got all these people out there. Oh, this is so fantastic! It's really nice to communicate with all you guys, and I'm looking forward to jumping on the phone. Yeah, it, it, this is it. Sucked not being able to engage with all of you in person. I was really looking forward to it, and we've been dealing with COVID like everyone else in the world and trying to come up and still put on a good show and make great content. But I would love to be able to meet you guys in person and listen to your stories and how much you love the show and the feedback. Actually, Casey, I went to lunch today. I went to lunch right outside the studio and there was a couple there who said, I love you so much on the show. You're my favorite. We've been watching for 25 years and I took a photo with them. I was like, oh, oh this is so nice. It's, uh, it's nice to have that that in-person interaction and get that feedback in person. Oh gosh, um, I was just here sitting in my office uh, eating lunch alone. So, um, you know, I thanks for thinking of me. I get, I get out. I get out for the people. I'm, I'm glad, to, <laughs> but I'm glad. <laughs> next time, next time, next time. No, well, that's uh, that. That's uh, so. Have you gotten recognized quite a bit when you uh, go through an airport or? Uh, I, you know, it, it's been maybe four or five times now. I tell you, I just came back from vacation in Greece, and on the way there, I oh. was in the airport. <laughs> And I think I, I was wearing like a bandana over my face. I wasn't aware that airports mm -hmm. now require the medical face covering. Like that's that's what it is. And I actually I think there you might be able to wear a bandana over your face while you're there. But then when you get on the plane, you have to. Anyway, there um, there was um, one of the um, the flight. I don't think she was a flight attendant. I think she yeah. worked for Lufthansa in security or some capacity like that. And she came up to me and she goes to me in a German accent. You better wear your mask because you are on my show. It's my favorite oh. program. And I was oh like, oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I didn't know which one to put on. It was really funny. So it happens sometimes in, in unusual places like that. You don't expect on the airport boarding a flight that the, the German staff would recognize you. Well, that, that, that's pretty cool. And I, I like um, following you on social media because you, you post uh, videos from the gym where you happen oh, yeah. to be at the gym when the show's on. And it's just, it's all, what, it's, is that just like a surreal experience to be there on the treadmill and then it's like, you it's look up so and there crazy. you are. Casey, it's not even, this is not planned. It's, I think I just right. mosey to the gym around midday-ish and then I'm on the treadmill and I look up and there's always a screen with B&B right. &B on. And it's, it's, it's very, very surreal to see everyone who I'm going to work with later in the day or right, right, right. Before, or maybe it's my day off. Uh, it's, and it's special thinking about putting in all those hours and being in the gym you know, for the last, I don't even know how long, you know, for, for my whole life and always having the, that show on and looking at the actors and thinking, oh, that would be a cool experience. And then getting to do it and seeing the product there in the gym. It's a, uh, it is a cool experience. That Well, well done. I mean, so now I'm just curious, how, when did you, I mean, you're a young guy, all right. And you've had quite a, quite a bit of success for a young guy, a young actor. What Thank what you. what made you uh, get interested in this? What was your first like time you realized, you know what, I like acting? You know, I, I loved film growing up and I still love movies as a as a kid, as a teenager. I used to be in the theater at least once a week, if not twice. I basically saw everything that came out. I didn't even really filter based on mm -hmm. reviews or ratings or IMDb score. I, I would see everything. I just I consumed media and content like nobody else, like nobody's business. And the last year has kind of sucked with the theaters closed, but I, I right. always loved it. And I always watched a lot of television. And I, I hadn't, I did some things as a young kid, but I hadn't really considered acting as a career until my mother said, Dylan, I want you to go to see this acting coach. There's a famous acting coach in New York named Susan Batson. She brought up Nicole Kidman and worked with Tom Cruise oh. and Oprah and all these really big people. She's like, I want you to see Susan. 
Uh, I had a family member. My godmother was was working with her on on some part, and she said, "I was like, Mom, I'm not an actor, though." I'm, and she's mm. like, "It doesn't matter. It'd be good for college mm. interviews." And this is mm. like two wow. years out from college interviews. This is if you get a sense of how my mom is. I think I was, it was maybe wow. my like sophomore summer or something, mm. so, summer before entering yeah. sophomore year. So I go and I meet with Susan, and my expectations are pretty low because I have no idea what acting is really involved. And we went pretty deep pretty quickly. And I thought, hey, yeah. this is interesting to be able to find these emotions within yourself and to get to these different places and be able to manipulate them. And I had a great session. I went back and I was like, mom, I want, I want to do this as a career. And she goes, get into Harvard or I'll break your legs. And then afterwards, do whatever you want. And that was basically, that was the, uh, that was the deal. I want to have your mom on this show. She sounds very cool. I love you, I mean, you need both my parents on the show. They're, yes. My father is Dutch, like a big Dutch guy. My mom's from the Caribbean, like former British Caribbean, British West Indies. They are um, they're a trip. The whole family is um, you can follow them with the I, camera. On. I had I had my mom on the show, but unfortunately we ran out of time. So I had to keep her segment very short. Um, so <laughs> it's show business. You know what I mean? Um, right. So, OK, I want. So how did you. Like get to the bold and the beautiful. It's been it's been a bit of a a road. Yeah. I've well specifically for for B and B. It was the summer right when COVID was starting, and my agent called me and he said, "Delon, you know, I have this audition. It's for the bold and the beautiful." And I was like, "Oh, it's interesting. Sure, let's make a tape." But everything started to be closed. I think we might have been really in the middle of lockdown, and mm -hmm. it was almost impossible to get anyone to come over and read the sides with me and, and make an audition tape, which is what we usually do as actors. I literally, I couldn't get anyone to come over. All the taping studios in Los Angeles, there used to be hundreds of them, thousands of them, they were all closed down. And my friend Gracie, who played my girlfriend on another CBS show I worked on prior to joining Bold and Beautiful called Zoo. It was a prime oh, yeah. kind of action show. She played my girlfriend, I called her, I'm like, Gracie, I need your help. And she's like, dude, we can FaceTime this and work it out. So I'm FaceTiming nice. with Gracie on my laptop and then I'm recording my audition like this with um, mm -hmm. on the phone. And I thought there's no way in hell this is going to look <laughs> clean enough to make a strong audition tape. But I think we hit the beats and we hit the moments and I felt pretty good about it. And so I sent it in and then I get a call back and casting is now reading with me and I read with casting and it went pretty well. And then another call back and this time was a chemistry read with Kiara. And we, we spoke about the scenes, which was nice. And it's also mm -hmm. a bit unusual in the audition process. Usually like you go in and you're a little bit nervous and this and that, and you just, you read and you leave. But I think being like this, being over in Zoom, which is my first Zoom audition, we just kind of talked about the scene. I said, how do you feel? She's like, oh, I think, how did you feel? Like, oh, I think we can take it this way. And then we did it a few more times and that was it. And supposedly Giar gave me the thumbs up and that was it. <laughs> Do you remember anything about your chemistry read with Diamond when Diamond auditioned? Yeah, Diamond, I think was the, I believe there were five girls that we read. And I think Diamond was the second and she came on and she was so cool, so natural. Like her look was great, the hair was great. She definitely stood out from the others, but I really, her performance was definitely the top two and I thought it was the strongest one. And so I spoke with casting after and they were like, Delon, who do you feel? And and I said, you know, Diamond is uh, she's she's the strongest. Yeah, I, I, and you that's what you want in a scene partner. You want someone who could come in and be well, very natural and and strong. And well, I think well, we, we got lucky. What I remember from it was you were the first actor to be cast on the show during our you know COVID protocols where we had to right. have you audition via Zoom and and uh, they kind of set that up so you could do a live chemistry read. Um, and in that scene, there was a kiss with diamond and so did we so i want to show the audience that clip because this is the first virtual kiss that you and diamond had so this take, is very funny i've look. never seen this guys everyone watching i haven't seen this karma and me being a virgo that people have to twist every word i say why did you tell her that you could get me to kiss you she said i said that It was a silly little bit made in the heat of the moment. <laughs> what did you just do? 
You can tell Emma you won your bet. <laughs> I can't believe I actually did that and then you showed it with all these fans watching. That's so funny. We go deep oh. here. This is behind the scenes in depth. That, wow. I mean, I got hats off to you, DeLon. That was like, you know, you, you, you gave a lot to Diamond. I mean, you really wanted to make to give her the best performance possible. Yeah, I, I wanted to. And it, over the Zoom audition, some of these things you don't know how it's going to be received by the other side. So I thought, hey, let's just lean in and give a kiss and maybe she like comes back and gives a reaction or something like that. That was so funny though. And that brings me back. I can't, I mean, this was a long time ago now. I can't believe how the time has flown by. And looking at me and Diamond on screen, I don't think much has changed. I think we still have kind of the same rapport. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, in fact, so so it's it was it's been a it's been a year with you and uh, since uh, uh, Diamond joined the show as Paris, but uh, you know then also you were between Zoe. Zoe was interested in in Zende, yeah. but she was with Carter, and then you were interested in Paris and this and that. But now it looks like that mm -hmm. Zende and uh, Paris are uh, on a good path. Things are going good. But what, what, do you, what do you think about her living with uh, Finn and Steffi? Casey, it's a little bit weird. I mean, I asked her to move in with me and my grandfather, which I guess is a little bit weird, but we live in a big house. I mean, it's, there's, there's plenty of room in, in the Forrester Mansion, in the uh, ancestral Forrester Mansion. So it definitely struck me, and I'm speaking me as the character. It, right. Listen, me as the actor struck me as pretty weird. I didn't feel great about it. Oh. And, but at the same time, you know, it's a new relationship. You never want to move in too quick. You don't know what's going to yeah. happen. I think that's probably is also in everyone's mind. But it's, she's not just living with my cousin. I mean, it's my cousin and her boss and her husband and the kids. True. It's a lot. That is a lot. You're right. Uh, and uh, yeah, I know uh, um, you, you, this week on the show, you and uh, Paris had a scene uh and uh zenday in paris and you, you were you were you brought up the fact that she's really invested in finn's relationship with steffi and but i but yet zenday has no idea really what she might be invested you know what she how close she's gotten to finn no no i'm clueless i have no idea what's going on in the house i don't know the conversations i don't know how much i want to know because right, right. zenday starts to get you know, his, his spider senses start tingling a little bit. And it's obvious from the way Paris speaks so lovingly and glowingly about Finn. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear how much she likes me. Casey, I spent like the last six months complimenting Diamond in like every scene. I want some compliments. Finn doesn't need any compliments. Finn gets enough compliments from everybody. All right, I'm sick of him. I want some compliments. So I, yes, the, yeah. the, the spider senses are tingling a little bit. Um, but what can you do? Like Zende, I'm, I'm still a dude, you know, I have to, I still have to present well. I can't look like I think something's going on or something right, like that. Right. You got to play cool. Well, um, so I want to, I, I was thinking about this this week, uh, on the show, when two characters get together, the fans give them a nickname called a smush name. So when two characters, yeah. you know, come together, they have a smush name and I, I was asking you before the show started, like, what is the, the Zende Paris um, smush name? And I, I hadn't really seen it, but I was going to ask the fans if they know what it is or if they have ideas for Paris and Zende, Zende Paris, if there's some sort of smush name. But I thought I would take this opportunity, since you're a relatively new cast member on the show, to quiz you on the current smush names and uh, see if you can guess the couple. So, for instance, I worked all afternoon making these flashcards. So here is Bridge. <laughs> so it's Broken Ridge. It's Broken Ridge. So that is correct. Broken Ridge. Ding ding yeah. ding. Okay. Yeah. Oh, somebody's so. saying Zaris. Okay, they, the Zaris. It must be okay. So now, oh, there we it go. It is here's here's Beatty. Who's Beatty? Well, I'm asking Hold you. Hold on. Uh, it's so. Uh, uh, um, oh my God, um, Bill and Katie. Correct. Boom. That's boom. 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 Yeah. All right. Then here's oh, there's my here's a, here's an easy one. No, it's Steffi and Finn, obviously. Yes, Steffi and Finn. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Them in the Malibu with my girlfriend. Uh -oh. <laughs> do Do you guys have earpods? This one always wants to come out. 
I can't keep that one in. So I'm, I'm just that going, happens to me all the I'm time. going one. Okay. Then we've got. Who is steam steam? Who is steam? Well, who is the team? Who is it? Who, who's the, who's the rest? Who's Ian? Steffi and Liam. Steffi and we're Liam. Going, we're, we're doing a throwback. We're yes. throwing a throwback here. How about, okay. how, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the name here. Quinn and Carter. Uh, mm, wait, don't, don't, don't. I mean, it's funny because you can kind of do Carter with a Q. That would be an interesting twist. Um, Close. I think it would start with Carter. I don't know. What is the case? They Quarter. Quarter. That's a pretty quarter. cool name. That's a pretty cool smush yeah. name. And then yeah. finally, yeah, like that one. That's finally, closer. this one's Liam Hope. Liam and Hope. Bing, bing, bing. Oh. That's it. Boom, boom. All right. You won. So you bad. won the game. Congrats. Hey, where's <laughs> I, my prize? I, I don't have any prizes, unfortunately, but um, I'll find <laughs> something. I'll find something. Uh, you, you can have my cool uh, coffee mug from Australia. Okay. I like so, that. I'm it. So um, now I want to um, – so we're going to go with Zaris. I think – is that what the fans said? I think so, yeah. I like I like that. It's, it's, uh, I like Zaris. Okay. Um, now, this is the opportunity in the show where you get to say hi to all the fans at one time. So we call this the fan roll call. So uh, you guys watching who are commenting, um, go ahead and start typing your name or somebody you want uh, Delon to say hello to, and he will give you a shout out and we'll try to do it for the next, you know, 25, 30 seconds. So as soon as you start yeah, seeing people's me. names come up, start Kyle. saying hi. Yo, Kyle Baxter, what's up? Tanya, okay. Aditha Lee, I got a yes. D, what's up, D? Who else is around? Angie Chandler, what's up, Chandler? Melissa, how you doing? Melissa Mathis, cool name. Ramona. Diane, thank you for the high Sunday. D, Darnell, Susan, Donna. Dixie, Kathy Lee, Mark, Rebecca, Rodelli, Vinette, cool, Amanda Davis, Edna, hey Edna, Adam, from, calling him from Poland, thanks for the support from Poland. All right. Chandler, Carol, Rizwan, what's going on? Hey, I've seen you in the comments. Mm. Kathy Lee, classic, classic name. Rebecca, Betty Williams, Brad Carlton. We got Melissa, we got Trish, what's up Trish? All right. And hey. time. Hey. All right. We got it from Susan Searles from Trinidad and Tobago. What's up? From the, you know, my mom is from St. Kitts, so I like something. You know, this is nice. Hmm. Josh, hold on. Hold on. Who else is there? Oh, who's from Montreal? Mona from Bucolia from Montreal. Wow. Lisa, Josh. Uh, did I pronounce someone's name right? I try to. Aww. I try my best. All right. Uh -huh. Well, thanks, thank guys. You. Thank nice you, thank you, Delon. That was yeah. It's a it's a it's a quick meet and greet. That was a quick meet and greet. Okay, that's maybe that's what I'll call it. Quick meet and greet. Okay, so now that's I'm right. going to uh, push this button, and this opens the fan line. So now Ooh. people will be calling in, and uh, they're going to be answering or going to be asking questions. Hopefully, Mona, like a, Mona from Montreal. Hopefully they have uh, their questions ready and be sure to say your name and where you're calling from because we want to know where in the world you're calling from. Um, and maybe we'll talk about Delon's awesome fence, uh, fashion style. Yeah. This was an awesome Look photo at that shoot. Jump. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, now I got a caller, so let's uh, let's open it up. We got St. Lucia on the line. Is Jennifer? Okay. Oh, there we go. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Hey, Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca from San How Clemente. Are you? Good. Say hi to Delon. You already knew her, Casey? She's been a part of every show. We love Rebecca. Oh, fantastic. Yep. What did hi, you do? How do you say your name? Delon? Is that right? Delon, you got it. You got it. Okay. Hi, Delon. Um, my question Very nice is to meet you. Um, you too. Nice to meet you. My question is. Um, why is Paris living with um, Finn and Steffi and not with you? Good question. I invited her. I did my part. I invited <laughs> her. I think maybe she would have thought, hey, this is going a little fast. Let's yeah. not, you know, yeah. let's pump the brakes a little bit. But she still needed a spot. And them offering the space in Malibu, it's hard 
it's hard to turn down Malibu. I mean, even given the circumstances and it's her boss and this and that, I mean, being right at the beach, right at the water, I don't know. If I were in her shoes, I, I might have done the same thing. That is a good question, though. It's like, when is the appropriate time to uh, have your significant other move in with you? You know, what is the appropriate amount of time? I, I, I don't know. I think yeah, it varies relationship to relationship. But, but Rebecca, I mean, maybe you would know better than, than how long have I been dating Paris on the show? It must be like we must, seven months now, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Six or seven months. Yeah, it, it, it would not be inappropriate to, to take it to the next level. Definitely not. I don't know, but um, my my mom watches too. I'm like the fourth generation to watch soap operas in my family. Wow. And um, she thinks that um, she's digging on Doc. Paris is digging on Doctor Finn. So I don't know. <laughs> I um I I, I hope that if that's the case that there's a lid put on him. You know, I don't want to reveal too mm -hmm. much, but I hope she puts a lid on that. I know. Me too. Well, uh, so Rebecca, you got plans for this weekend, for the Labor Day weekend? No, just staying home and taking a break from the online school and with my 13-year-old son, taking right. a break from that. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for calling in and uh, have a great weekend. Okay, you too. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. All right. <laughs> hey, welcome to Bold Life. Say hi to Delon. Hey, good afternoon. Good evening. Um, hi from New York City. Um, hi, Casey. Hi, Dilan. Hey. Hey. I'm, what's hey, your name? Uh, well, I'm, well, I'm sorry. You, you called them. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to say this is Mel from New York City. Yeah, Mel. How, no, what's going on? Are you guys uh, doing okay there? Yeah, well, you know, in my part of Manhattan, it's, it, nothing really happened. I'm in um, sort of Inwood section, so it was pretty, um, you know, calm up here, but it was it did disturb a lot of uh, different subways and things like that. But everything's back to normal pretty much. Right. Nice. All right. Well, uh, say hi to Delon. And you have a question? Yes, I do. First, I was going to say, well, I had like, I guess two questions. I was going to say, Delon, have people ever, you know, confused you and say, oh, you look like you could be a member of Janet Jackson's family because you have such a Jackson kind of look to you? You know, that's really funny. I heard it a bit in high school. It's It came up a few times in high school. Like, yo, you kind of look like, Young, young Michael, like you could be, you could be mm -hmm. part of that somehow. Um, yeah. uh, listen, um, cool, cool, cool family. Great story, great music. Um, a big fan of all the work. Who knows? Maybe one day a doc comes out, right? Maybe there's a there's a bi biopic, biopic. Which one is it? I don't know. Yep. I well, listen. You might be absolute. I was going to say that the last question is when Zoe and Zenday. Uh, were, you know, in, in entanglement, and those scenes were wonderful. I was wondering, now that the character Zoe is gone, um, what are some of your favorite memories of, of Zenday and Zoe together? Because I actually loved that. I wish that they that um, the two of them would have went on more because the chemistry was off the charts. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I, I really enjoyed working with Kiara. Those scenes got really deep and heavy and loving and there was all that frustration and everything else underneath i had a lot of fun working with her and with lawrence uh i think from those scenes there was the day where we were at carter's apartment and i think he was about to propose and the fire alarm goes off and i was mm. going to stop her but i don't i that scene uh, that was that was a good day for me i remember really enjoying that day and then there was another time where it was the three of us and we were like we were screaming it out carter lawrence was like dude what are you doing and i'm saying hey it wasn't like i didn't do anything nothing happened it wasn't me and i'm pushing back a little bit and and those scenes also i remember being pretty fulfilled leaving set having done them and then not i don't think kiara was in the scene but there was another time where i see that the text had finally gone through it was one of those moments where the text didn't go out and then I sit there and I'm like, I can't believe this happened. And my grandfather comes down and, and I have that moment with him. It's great uh, getting to work with, with, uh, with John. So those, um, those moments in the arc definitely stood out to me. What were your favorites? Well, I mean, the ones that you listed, I think anything which you, I, for me personally, whenever she, you all were so resisting each other and it was sort of like this sort of forbidden love and you all was yeah. like, well, I just think it was, I think you all had 
great chemistry. And and she's a oh, brilliant actress, you. and everybody is wonderful on the show. But I like Zoe and Zenday. I really did like the two of you together. It was pretty good, pretty awesome. So uh, m- misconnections, misconnections. <laughs> well, but know, thank you, thank you so much. Well, thanks, Mel, for calling in, and you have a great weekend. Thank you, thank you. All right, bye bye. Nice chatting. All right, we're gonna. The phone lines are. We got a lot of people on there. Let me get this next call. There we go. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Amanda Davis. I'm calling from Burke, Virginia. Oh, from where? Burke, Virginia. Okay, well, welcome. Say hi to DeLong. And is it Amanda? Yes. Amanda, hey, what's up? Yes, nothing much. I'm just calling, just, I don't really have a question for you, but I'm just saying it's good to see you on the show, but you need to open up your eyes about Paris and Finn. I, am, I, am I being played for the fool right now? <laughs> it seems like it, but I don't think you're catching to feel on that to way. it. It's huh? starting to feel that way. You know, I think yes. Zenday, I, I don't want to say Zenday is naive. I don't want to call myself naive here. But uh, I think Zende is an optimist and he's very trusting and Paris uh-huh. comes off like she's, she's worthy of trust, you know? So uh, listen, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm getting myself in a complicated spot right now. <laughs> okay, that's all. all Thank I you have for to the say warning just... though. Okay, be safe and take care. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Thanks bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. bye-bye. <laughs> That's, I, she's very sweet. That was, that was fun. All right. Yeah, hi. I love that. Why, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm calling from New York. Hey, Melissa. Say hi to DeLon. Hey, Melissa. I like all these New Yorkers calling. And you all know I'm a New Yorker, right? Yeah, I'm on Long Island. I'm not in the city. I'm I'm in Holtzville. Yeah, close enough. I've spent a lot of time in Long Island. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Great. Um, great. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Uh, I, I love you as Zenday on Bold and the Beautiful. You're doing a great job. Um, Thank you. My question you. is, what's it like to take over for for another actor? You know, this because was... Because I know Rome was playing. So yeah, what's it like I, to I, take over for him? There's, hmm. I think, a certain pressure that's built into it. And I remember coming on and thinking, how do I, how do I do this? How do I navigate this? And I, I spoke with my agent. I spoke with a bunch of my friends. I watched a lot of Rome's work to get the pulse of the character. But I believe that the script had it a couple years separate. Zende had been in Europe. He had lived in Paris for a little while. So I thought, okay, we need to build in maybe some worldliness, a little bit of European influence. But I definitely uh, took Rome's temperature as a bit of a base. And then after I built that stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna riff with this and have fun and, and mm-hmm. put my own uh, put my own scent on it. And I hope that's what's come across and I hope you guys have seen that. But Rome was supportive. He, I remember he wrote on Instagram like, yeah, give this guy a shot. Because it's tough. There's a lot of expectations from the crowd. And listen, it's um, I'm sure with all the recasts and subs, and you guys are used to this, but you always want the OG. And I have loved shows over the years and someone comes in and you're like, oh, but it's uh, it's nice how supportive everyone's been and uh, how yeah. how generous uh, the, the whole cast has been and, and the fans and welcoming me and introducing me. And Rome was cool well, too. I mean, you I, are I, Zenday. I, I love you as Zenday. <laughs> uh, thank you. So I'm like, I'm blushing right now. If the, the, if the light doesn't show it, I'm, I'm blushing a little bit in my cheeks. <laughs> So you got you got plans for the weekend? Uh, yeah, me and my daughter are actually going to go see uh, Pitbull tomorrow night at Jones oh. Beach. Very cool. Uh, yeah, we're we're she's fifteen. She's looking forward to it so much. So it's the one and only concert we can get this this summer. So there you go. We're we're so excited. Well, get it in. Get yeah, yeah. it's good. Enjoy the outdoors and uh, and and have fun at the concert. Um, that which brings me yeah. up, if if you don't have weekend plans, for those of you that are watching, uh, Bold and Beautiful is streaming uh, season one currently on YouTube. So you can go back 
1987 and watch the very first episodes of The Bold and the Beautiful, uh, One a Day comes out on uh, this channel here on, on YouTube. So you might want to check those out. Well, thank you so much for answering my call. Take care. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing more of Zenday in Paris. I love you guys as a couple. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, well, um, uh, I, yeah, I, we're, I'm going to, the, 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 I'm waiting for some more people. Uh, the phone lines are open if you want to call in. Um, I want to talk a little bit about you, Delon, playing a fashion designer. So yeah, of course. what, where did, where you have a great fashion sense, like even b before you joined the show, like you're a very confident dresser. Uh, thank you, Casey. Thank you. Thank you. So where did you get that fashion sense from? You know, I think this started with my parents. I have to give them the credit. Yeah, I grew up in New York, so I was always around fashion in one capacity or another. But I think around the high school days, my parents were like, this wardrobe of middle school, Quicksilver and skater wear and all this stuff, this is out of the picture. And my dad, you know, they would go shopping and listen, I'm not sure if they felt guilty not getting me stuff when they would go shopping, but they would always bring me home something. My dad would go to Etro and buy these cool button downs with all these crazy colors and paisley and stripes. And he's like, Dilan, I got one for you. Try it on, see if it fits. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is cool. And my mom would do the same thing. She would buy sunglasses and she'd be like, Dilan, try these on. And she'd, then she'd look at me and she goes, oh, they look better on you. You keep them. And I'm like, mom, no, you haven't. She's like, no, they're unisex and I can't wear them. now. they look better on you. So it was um it was a lot of of my parents I think introducing me to that world at first and then my mom's great friend was uh, senior vice president of retail at Valentino for many years and uh, we were just kind of it was in the scene it was in the scene I used to crash fashion shows in New York you know my brother for a while I think he kind of wanted to be a fashion designer he ended up going into finance but I, I was always around the business around the industry and it's fun to you know, to try new things out and, and look good. So what I'm hearing is you were born for this role of Zenday. Like, you know, when I, I don't want to overstate it, but when I read the job description, I told my agent, I'm like, Chip, you know, I'm going to get this right. Like this, I'm, I'm, they're going to hire me for this. It's right. too spot on. Um, I, I was very excited to, to see it come through. And after I read the, uh, the character breakdown, I, I got pretty excited. Yeah. Well, Delon, I really enjoyed, uh, getting to like hang out with you because yeah. unfortunately we don't get our, our, we don't get to hang out with our parties or, uh, you know, uh, Christmas parties, anniversary parties. It's just, uh, so it's seeing each other and passing in the hallways. So, um, this has been fun and I appreciate you being on bold live and, uh, I hope you'll be back. For some it was more too short. Have me back whenever, Casey. I love well, I so think far. I think we'll have you back in a in a, in a month or so. One because I think things are going to start getting, um, shall we say, a little a little spicier with uh, Zenday in Paris, and uh, we'll see oh, yeah. what else happens. But um, I'm really excited for what's coming up for your character. No, I am too. I am too. And hey, all. All you guys that are, I'm still trying to look at, at your comments as we're in. Thank you so much for, for chiming in. And anyone I didn't say hello to, I, I hope I can come back and say hello to you in the future and call in whenever. But I, I love to see so many people chiming in from all over the world. I see from, from France here, from the Netherlands. Hi, my, my family's out there. It's, um, it's really fantastic. This is, this is great. And thank you so much for the support. Well, you're welcome and thank you. And, um... I'll see you next week.